Astro is the best managed service for Apache Airflow on the market. Astro helps you create airflow environments with the click of a button, gives you monitoring and alerting, and allows you to spend more time thinking about your data and less time thinking about managing the infrastructure you need to run Airflow. Come start a free trial today. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how you can get started with Astro in just three simple steps. First, we're gonna create an Airflow deployment. Then we're gonna install the Astro CLI so we have a full local development environment. Then we're gonna deploy DAGs from our local development environment into that production Airflow environment in the cloud. So to get started, we're gonna to wanna to hit Create Deployment and then choose a name for our Airflow. Let's call this new Airflow. Choose whether we want this to be a dedicated or shared cluster, as well as which cloud provider we'd like to use. Then we can select the region, as well as which type of execute we'd like to use, Celery or Kubernetes, our Airflow version, whether we want CI, CD, and high availability to be enforced. Then we'll choose which schedule we'd like to use, the size and configuration of our worker queues, as well as the size and configuration of our KPO pods. Then we can just hit Create Deployment. Now, while our deployment is created, let's go to the command line and start installing the Astro CLI. If you're just getting started with Astro, the first command you want to run is brew install Astro. This will install the Astro CLI. Since I've already installed it, it'll just make sure mine's up to date. After that, we'll type in Astro dev init to pull the directory we'll need to build our local Airflow environment. After that, we'll type in Astro dev start to start up the microservices for our local Airflow environment. Once you see this message come up, you're all ready to go. Now, the Astro CLI is a way for you to have a full local Airflow environment so you can test locally, build your DAGs, and iterate much, much faster. It also means that all of your developers can have their own local development environment. Now, you can see we have a pretty standard Airflow directory, but with a few bells and whistles added. Since the Astro CLI uses a Dockerized version of Airflow, everything is built as a Docker file. So I can choose my Airflow version, I can add my packages, requirements, and it will all be pushed together when we deploy to the crowd. So no more deploying your DAGs and all their supporting packages and requirements separately. They're all packaged together as one. Now here, I'm gonna show you how to deploy your DAGs. So let's say you've developed some beautiful DAGs, in this case, example DAG advanced and example DAG basic. To deploy, the first thing I wanna do is log into Astro. To do so, we'll just type Astro login, which will then pull up my browser. Since I've already logged in, it'll read that from my browser and just log me in automatically. So now that I'm connected, let's start deploying. To do this, first, we're gonna type Astro Workspace List, make sure we're in the right workspace. If we're not, you'll type in Astro Workspace Switch to switch to the proper workspace. Then we can type in Astro Deploy. This will let me choose which deployment I want to deploy to. And so as you can see, I've created two deployments just to show you that this will list out your deployments and then you can use numbers. So one to choose which deployment you want to deploy to. Once you have deployed successfully, you'll see these links to it in the UI. So let's use them and go check on our deployment in the UI. Now in the UI, we can see that this new Airflow has been marked with a deploying tag. This means it's currently installing that Docker image we created onto this Airflow environment. So that's all you need to do. In a couple minutes, this will trick over to healthy and we can see those DAGs that we pushed in this Airflow environment. Now we can see it's already ticked over to healthy. So let's hit open Airflow and we can see our DAGs right here. So boom, you're done. You've got a new production Airflow environment. You've got a full local development environment and you've got a super easy way to deploy code from your development environment into production. Finally, let's, let me show you how to monitor them. To do so, what we'll do is just go back to this cloud UI and click on the Get Analytics button on your deployment screen. So if we hit Get Analytics here, you'll see the DAG runs, task runs over whatever time period you want to define, as well as the worker CPU and memory utilization rate and the CPU and memory utilization rate for the scheduler. So that should be all you need to get started with Airflow and Astro. Enjoy.